Hey, what's up guys? Bobby K back today with Go Hobby, and here we have the Dancing Wing Tiger Moth, but the mini version. Uh, if you guys have seen videos previously, you've seen the big version of it. Now we have the little version, runs off 2S power, um, calls for a 1600 to 1800 milliamp battery. I actually needed some more nose weight in this. Um, so I added a 2200 milliamp battery up front, and then I did add about six ounces of nose, nose weight on top of that just to get it to uh, CG properly. Um, other than that, it's a nice little plane. Uh, it has full span ailerons along the bottom, so it should be pretty agile. Um, it's just basic four channel. All you'll need is a four channel receiver. I'm just running a basic four channel spectrum receiver in it today. Uh, no AS3X or gyro or anything. So we, we'll see how it does. Uh, we have about a five to 10 out of the south. So um, I think this will handle it all right. Most Tiger Moss I've flown, I, I haven't met a bad one yet. So I'm excited to fly this one. Uh, yeah, it has a lot of really cool little features on it. This is a great plane. It comes as an ARF plug and play. So you're gonna get all your electronics, servos, motor, ESC, all of that kind of stuff and this is a great ARF plug and play plane to get if you're just starting to dabble in in kind of like the balsa ARFs this is a perfect one to get it's it's pretty inexpensive and the build is pretty straightforward and easy so with uh, out further ado let's go ahead and get this bad bad uh, boy up in the air all right guys so we got a little bit of a south wind we're taking off kind of on a, at an odd angle out here at the school but uh, let's see how she flies they fly it considering the windy conditions. I mean, it's really bumpy. That's about half throttle right there into the wind. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's super windy out. AS3X or a gyro of some type in here definitely help on windy days. funny it seems like whenever you're on the ground and not flying the wind calms down as soon as you take off or want to land the wind picks up I swear it's, it's, one of the, it's a pilot's curse I think go up here <laughs> and I'm actually in low rate right now so as far as rates whoops looking over at the camera lady here and almost uh, put it in. Uh, so as far as rates go, I'm running 60, 80, and 100 with 15% expo all the way around, and I'm actually still in my low rate. impressed with this thing. And I, I mean, I haven't met a bad Tiger Moth. Everyone I've flown, the Dynam one, the big dancing wing uh, version, uh, all of them have flown really nice. This one including.
really picks up speed with that tailwind. Holy smokes. Yeah, not too bad for a maiden flight. Puts around nice at half throttle too. I'm actually pretty surprised at how it is doing in this wind. We're kind of blocked from the wind by the school here, but once you get up there, it makes a pretty big difference. All right, so we've got about one minute left on my five minute timer. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna practice some approaches here. I think we'll be all right landing. All right, let's go ahead, turn her around here and bring her in for a landing. Leave a little bit of juice in there just in case we need to go around. <laughs> well, not my prettiest. Let's try that one more time. All right, let's do one more. are a little small it'll do better on like a mat runway for sure or some smoother pavement whoa going around <laughs> that was ugly it's bouncy out here today <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the beautiful little dancing wings tiger moth. Um, as you can see, it does pretty well. A little interesting on the landings, but I mean, it's pretty bumpy and breezy out here today in good old Windiana. It's hard to get a good day recently. Had a warm front come through and it has not stopped being windy, but we want to get out and fly this, uh, show you guys how it performs. It does pretty well. Um, I did just notice it does come with windshields. I just forgot to add them. Uh, I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> But uh, other than that, it flies really great. Like I said, 2S power. I ran a 2200. Uh, had to add some nose weight, of course. Uh, but with most biplanes, my big one as well, I had to add some nose weight. So um, your balsa isn't just like your foam. Sometimes you're going to have to add some weight and do some uh, modifications or some other things. But other than that, this is a great starting plane for someone looking to get in an ARF plug and play and build a balsa plane. It's pretty easy. Build straightforward. Uh, like I said, four channels. And uh, yeah, runs off 2S power. So. With that being said, uh, links in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell for all the latest and greatest come from BitGo Hobby. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.